If I had to start my cologne collection over with $1,000, or in America, two bags of groceries, these are the fragrances that I would pick. So I did a previous one to this, the $500 mark. So if you wanna watch that one, you can go back and watch that one. But this would, this is what I would do if I had a little bit extra money to kind of blow. Subscribe for the next video. What would I would do if I had $250,000? That would be exciting. I'd buy the entire Latafa house, the whole company. Yves Saint Laurent, I got, you know, stock shares in this. I will own Everything. One hundred fifty thousand dollars doesn't even get you a doesn't even get you a good house nowadays. Gets you a crack house. I'm not going to go too far into any details with this. I'm just going to kind of show the notes. So if you're interested at any of these fragrances, let me know, and uh, I'll make an individual review for them. The first one I would totally buy is Jean Paul Gaultier Le Mal de Parfum, and I would buy this like really quickly because it's so great. And if I had a thousand bucks, you have to you have to use it quickly especially in nowadays economy where you, it just like disappears. This one is very sweet. It's got a, like a caramely sweetness back behind it. And then it's also got some iris, some woody facets, and it's pretty fresh too. Um, so it's got like a, a nice blend of freshness, sweetness, spicy aspects in there. Also with that just overpowering. This one, you wear this one when you get laid or if you're trying to get laid, use it. This next one is it's fantastic, and you could wear it to get laid, but most likely you're just gonna be yourself. Vetiver Sensual. You're gonna get sensual with yourself when you're vetivering yourself. That's up. This one is very good though. This one is very fresh. The vetiver in here, the vetiver like sensual name is kind of like, you know, different than, what the fuck am I talking about? The name vetiver sensual is not so, it's not so vetivery. It's not so like vetiver heavy where you're just like smelling like a dried green grass tumbleweed. This, it's fresh, it's inviting, it's relaxing, it's nice. It's very citrus heavy, like a juicy, just amazing citrus. And then the vetiver kind of supports everything. It's kind of, it's, it's nice. It is definitely nice. Clean, fresh, inviting, relaxing beautiful and uh very did i say stunning yet i should say stunning it's stunning stunning nishane's hashavat is another one i would pick up effective immediately it's a pineapple oak mossy fresh fragrance so it's a very fresh classy man it's oak moss oak moss is very sensual when you put oak moss on you smell absolutely irresistible to the opposite sex or to the same sex if you're down that alley. It's a kind of a take on the whole Creed Aventus kind of thing, but it's very much more oak mossy heavy. It's so much more oak mossy kind of stuff going on in there, but it's a, it's pretty fresh and inviting. A lot of woody aspects in, the wear, in there to support all that other oak mossy stuff. It is very nice. And it smells expensive too. It smells expensive and it's also pretty expensive as well. This one, Stronger With You, absolutely. This is a pricey one, and I would love this stuff so much. I love this stuff so much, and I would be buying this instantly. But it is kind of harder to find. It definitely smells expensive, smells super sexy. It's got a chestnut character in here. Very um, warm, ambery, vanilla, and it smells like Christmas time. It smells fantastic. The, the main thing about it though, is that chestnut character. It gives this kind of nutty quality to it. Not like the sexy nutty, but it's more like nut job, that kind of nutty. Dior Homme Intense. I think this was on my other one, um, my other list, but um, Dior Homme Intense absolutely would be bought up instantaneously. And for the most part, like what I would do is I would set a budget. I would set a budget of a thousand bucks and these are the fragrances that I would get and then kind of work out the sizes. So. I mean, I'd be like, get a bigger bottle of this or a smaller bottle of that, you know, kind of mix it up. But Dior Homme Intense, I would most definitely get a bottle of, absolutely, because it's so fantastic. In the winter time, it's fantastic. In the winter time, it's so beautiful. I look at it like whenever it's the first snowy day, whenever that is uh, here in Colorado, whenever that is, I pull out Dior Homme Intense absolutely because it's the snow time fragrance it's the snow time the rainy season fragrance tom ford ombre leather i mentioned this one in the other video as well the 500 hundred dollar video and this would be the other one i would get too so i would get a big bottle of it 
um, or the small bottle depending on like which, how many, you know, which bigger bottle would I want to pick up? I would definitely want to pick up this one for sure. It's like a very warm, cardamom, heavy, leathery, smooth, sexy. It's got some jasmine in there. It's very sexy. Uh, I think I said that nine times now. Um, but I would probably pick up a big bottle of that, a big bottle of the Vetiver Sensual, and then a big bottle of Dior Aument. And then the other ones could be like smaller bottles. Other than this one, Aqua Dijo Profumo. Uh, and I would probably just pick up the Parfum, the new Parfum nowadays, um, because it's kind of readily available. Uh, but I like this one. It has the magnetic cap. It's the older bottle, um, but I would pick up a bottle of this. Absolutely. This is so good. This is my fourth bottle of this, and I just love it. I just love it so much. I'd probably pick up the big bottle of this as well because, um, yeah, it's just, it's just fantastic. I bought this one actually from Giorgio Armani's website, the actual official website, for 50% off. It was like $100 for that big bottle. Great deal, I think. I should have bought two bottles now that I know it's discontinued. But anyway, that it's very fresh. It's got a like a incense -y patchouli kind of smell, um, just like underlying everything, but it's got a very fresh azonic quality to it. Uh, everybody knows what Aqua Digio smells like. I don't have to kind of tell you about that. And then the last one here, Pegasus, of course. Of course, Pegasus has to be on here because this is just a vanilla, beautiful cloud that I just love. And it brings me back some good memories. So I uh, have to get a bottle of Pegasus. I'd probably just buy a small bottle of Pegasus because I don't really, I don't need all of this fragrance. Um, now that I'm deep into collecting, I really wish that I did buy the small bottles, like all the 50 mil bottles, because when you get up to this point of fragrance collecting, you're just like, why do I have so much fragrance? It just doesn't make any sense. I don't know what I'm talking about. I love this shit. I lost track of, of how much all this would cost, but uh, I did, I dialed up everything from how much they were from retail and discounters too, and how much I picked them up for. And I just kind of calculated it all together and it came out to like $995. So what I would do is I would just buy the bigger bottles or smaller bottles and just kind of like, you know, work in there. But do you guys have a thousand dollars that you want to send to me? This list can change instantly. You send me a thousand bucks. Let me know what fragrances you would pick up if you had a thousand dollars to spend. I'm not doing a giveaway. I just want to know. Thanks for watching the video, guys. We'll see you next time.